Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really Happy man. One morning, Miss Hubbard, who was always up bright and early, was surprised to see Pat's van still outside his house. Goodness me, Pat should be away by now. I wonder what's wrong. Pat, are you there? Pat! Pat! Goeep! Yoop! Pat, it's late! Ah, there you are! Still in bed, Pat. What about the post? Oh dear, is it that late? I must have overslept. Wretched alarm clock. Morning, Pat! Must go or I'll be late as well. Pat rushed out without any breakfast. I'd better get my skates on. They'll all wonder where I've got to. Oh, no! My hat! Come on, Jess. Don't just sit there. Oh! What are you playing at, Jess? Do you think you're Postman Jess or something? Come on, let's get moving. What a start to the day. That alarm clock couldn't have gone off. We're over an hour late already. It was past nine o'clock at the post office. I wonder why Pat is so late, said Mrs Goggins. Anyway, it gives me time to repair this parcel. Is that him? Oh! It's not my day today, is it? Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Sorry I'm late. It's that alarm clock. Didn't go off, you know. As bad as this parcel. Just look at it. I do wish people would wrap them up properly. This is a right old mess. Can I help? Oh, my hat. This stuff sticks to everything. Gosh, it's all over my fingers. Oh, yuck. That's really sticky. Oh, dear, dear. Oh. oh, dear. You're as bad as me today. All thumbs. There you are. I think it will hold. It's just one of those days, said Pat. Thank you. Wish me luck. I need it today.
and there's Ted. That messy parcel is for him. We'll give it to him before it falls to bits. Hi, Ted. Got a parcel for you. Ted! Oh, hello, Pat. Is that my parcel? It'll be those spare parts I ordered. Whoops! Oh, no! Dozens of nuts and bolts, cogs and screws rolled away into the grass. Oh, dear. I'll never find them all. Not in this long grass. Hold on. I'll give you a hand. That's one bit. But what about all the others? Bill Thompson had just set out from home on his way to the village when he saw Pat and Ted searching for something in the grass. Have you lost something? He said. Yes, a lot of nuts and bolts. I've got just the thing for that at home. I'll go and get it. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> we'll still be here, said Ted. What's he on about, said Pat. <laughs> Search me. Is this one of them? Mm, no, looks like a rusty nail. <laughs> like this. Rubbish. We're getting nowhere. I know. Look, the lad's back already. And he's got a magnet with him. <laughs> Hope it's a good one or it won't be much use. Have you found much? said Bill. Well, no, not yet. This is really powerful. Picks up anything metal. You have a try. Oh, thanks. It started to pick up all the metal bits from the grass, as well as Pat's glasses. Over here, said Ted. I hope they're all there, said Pat. I'll count them, said Ted. Thanks, Pat. Cheerio. Turn up, Pat. Thanks for your help. Here's another bit. Thanks, Bill. That magnet came in handy. <laughs> what a day, said Pat to Jess. We'll never get through at this rate. His next stop was Thompson Ground. Alf was busy mending the barn wall. Morning, Alf. Sorry I'm late. Got some letters for you. Just leave them on the table. Dorothy's away feeding the chickens. Nothing urgent, is there? No, just a few bills. Oops! Hey, up, what are you doing? Sorry, Alf. Hang on. Hold it steady! Not that way, the other way. I said the other way! Oh! Ouch! Oh, my hand. Oh, it does hurt. Ah! Oh, gosh, that's painful. You all right, Pat? Oh, dear. Well, don't move. I'll go and get something for it. Just then, Mrs. Thompson came back from feeding the chickens. Dear me, whatever have you been up to, Pat? Not looking where I was going, I'm afraid. Walking into ladders. You mustn't make it a habit. Now hold still and I'll bind it up for you. But you won't be able to drive today, you know. You'll have to rest it. Thanks, but what about all my letters? Said Pat. Just then, Sam Waldron drove his mobile shop into the farmyard. He noticed Pat's bandaged hand. Hello, what happened to you? They told him about Pat's accident and that he was unable to drive. Why don't we put your letters and parcels in my van, said Sam. 
We can do our rounds together. Yes, and then the post will get through after all, said Pat. Thanks, Sam. That's a marvellous idea. Come on, Jess. You'll be all right in there. Thanks, Alf. That's the lot now. Bye. We'd better get Dr. Gilbertson to take a look at that wrist, said Sam. It was their first stop anyway. Won't be long. Hello, Pat. Goodness me, what have you been doing? It's my wrist. Come on in. Let's have a look at it. Ouch! Is this where it hurts? Ouch! Ah, well, it's not broken. You'll be all right in a day or two. I'll just give you something to soothe it. You'll soon be able to drive. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Cheerio. Bye. No need to worry. Nothing broken. For twice a week there comes a mobile shop up to the valley. valley. And folks are delighted when he comes around. For it always will save a long journey to town from the valley. The valley, he's always on time as he rings out his chime in the valley. valley. Mothers can plan with a great shopping list. If he cut out his service, oh, he'd be terribly missed in the valley. The valley. What the people will want in the valley. valley He buys in the town, then he takes things around All his customers know that he won't let them down In the valley, the valley Thanks for the lift, Sam. It's been a funny old day, but tomorrow, well, tomorrow's another day. That's the stuff, Pat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 boom,